What is going on guys, Marshall1 here and welcome back to another school video. Today we're gonna learn basic skills in contract force and of course I'm gonna go through every skill so you guys may understand better what are the most important skills and some skills that you don't understand. So let's start with scout. So when you go on the left side, I mean on the right side you see the down there that it say it's for pistol accuracy so I will not bother you with this because it's all explained so if you wanna be a scout and you wanna play most of the time with pistol then you may want to go through those skills so of course recoil reduction reload speed of your pistol of course again recoil to your pistol damage to your pistol and so on so yes here what is this about so when you kill someone with your pistol it means you will get as you can see here so it, it means you will get double experience for kills and down there most of you that don't know this means that you're gonna unlock a unique pistol and this pistol you may find here in special special set and that is the pistol it's TT so now you know how to unlock it I guess anyway here plus 25 percent to sit movement speed this means when you press C or whatever button you have to crouch means you will move 25 percent faster this one is for weapon switch means from primary to secondary or from secondary to primary you will switch faster means it will take less time to switch your weapons anyway this one means that you will be able to see where the enemy is throwing their mortar so you will have chance to avoid it of course but this is only in case you really need it uh, this skill shows your HP of your teammate so means anytime during your gameplay you will be able to see friendly HP uh, this one is for the enemy and this works only when you hit them so on your screen you will see their HP that will last for let's say two seconds and this is also good to detect your enemies because even if you hit them with your grenade or maybe with your mortar it will show their HP so you know where they are hiding maybe or where they are spawn Anyway, this one will show and I think it's really useless uh, enemy class on your radar so it means you will be able to see who is going on you and his assault, who's scout, who's destroyer and so on but really I think this is the useless one. Anyway, silent move means uh, you won't be able to hear enemy when they are moving and if you are really one professional player using this on normal mode then this will probably help you because you will not need a walk button means I don't know let's say to hold shift button to walk down and those are the most important skills here so of course whatever class you're gonna be assault or destroyer or scout uh, I will recommend you to take those skills so plus 3 points to mobility of your weapons means you will move faster plus 5 points to reload speed means you will reload faster and plus 6 points to mobility of main weapon and at the same time means you will move faster of course this one here is access to unique SMG that SMG is here in special set and it's called MP5 SD so you may take that weapon for CR and for some skill points and it's not really expensive at all and if you are a beginner and you want one weapon let's say a premium but it's not a premium then you may want to take this weapon and enjoy it to level 59 that is my recommendation if you're gonna be scout or assault just take this weapon anyway down there you have plus 10 meters to fire distance means if you have this uh, skill that your damage will not drop on distance so you will make a uh, same damage but pl for plus 10 meters uh, plus 5 points to fire rate of main weapon 
It means that every main weapon will get plus 5 to fire rate and many players asking uh, if this is really necessary. Well, for some guns that have really low fire rate, yes, it will help you, but for some guns like Chris Vector, <laughs> believe me, you don't need this because you will only waste your ammo, but yes, you will feel a really big difference if you take this one. Anyway, down there you have plus 8 to mobility, this is for those guys who are using heavy weapons, but in the same time they are using uh, high mo mobility weapons and they really wanna move fast. So if you take this skill tree, uh, I mean if you take this skill, you will be like lightning <laughs> around your maps and you will really move fast. So if you wanna take this, yeah, feel free and go on, take it. Anyway. This one is for knife speed and generally it's a all means you will be able to knife faster and it will take less time be between every nice swing, uh, knife swing. This means you will get uh, X free more experience points for killing with your knife. So it's simple if you get like 10 experience points for knife kill normally with this skill you will get uh, 30 experience points so yes it's really simple and this one is probably the best smg you're gonna find in contract force and down there you see how much you need for that and it's called vitya's smg of course it's again a special set and you may find it here so it's pretty nice smg after you complete a weapon task for it i'm not sure anymore if they are storm kills or something else but anyway you may contact me and I will check it for you guys it's not a problem anyway let's move now to assault probably the best class in contract force and something that everyone few wanna be and they like it because with this class of course if you have more points in assault than in other uh, classes you will be able to use a thermal Thermal goggles means to see like black and white screen that many players are asking me about. So let's start from here. You have plus five points to reload of your main weapon. So already we said what is that. Also here you have plus 15 meters to fire distance of my main weapon. We said what is it. And this is probably the most important skill that you really guys need. You get plus eight points to penetration of main weapons and plus. 5 penetration of pistols. Well, this means you will be able to penetrate and deal more damage to enemy behind objects and generally when you look uh, when you fire at them, you will kill them faster and more easier. Of course, if they have more armor points or they even rent armor, well, this skill will help you to kill them faster, of course. So, down here you have health regeneration means you get 5 HP back every few seconds I'm not sure how much seconds is between regeneration anyway you need to have under 40 HP to start and regenerate your HP and down there you have the same thing just it will start regenerate your HP from 60 anyway if you go here you get plus 5 health points so means if you have 100 you will have 105 with this skill this will reduce falling damage means you will take less damage if you fall down from roof or any object so i don't think it's useful skill but if you like to jump from objects that much then probably you're gonna need this one anyway we said that uh, Recoil is really important to your guy. Uh, guns less recoil means your guns will be more accurate and it will less shake or bounce. But I mean, in this game you won't notice it. But yes, this is probably something that will help you. Uh, plus seven points to reload speed of main weapon. Well, means you will reload your main weapons faster. Additional zoom when you aim down to iron side means you will have a slightly zoom when you're aiming down through your iron side. So yes, you need those skills to go down there. So yes, you need to unlock it. Anyway, you need this one and it's really important. So plus four points to damage of main weapon. And of course, if you have some GP points, take plus six points to your main weapon damage. And here, 
means uh, I see a lot of people get confused what is this skill well it will increase your um, X points for killing people who are assault class so they need to be assault you don't need to have assault weapon you can kill them with any gun in this game even with pistols they only need to be assault so it's really simple anyway here if you unlock this you will get sega fa that is in weapon set that is called special and that is this gun i usually call it spray gun because i really dislike it and it's for noobs so please don't try to buy it and here you have something that most of you guys like and it as well and for me it's not that good but yes you can customize this gun and it was really better before customization but anyway if you want to choose between Vityaz and ASL mode my recommendation is to go for Vityaz SMG because it's much better in my opinion anyway on this side you have armor points and as you can see it's up on you to decide how much armor points you need but believe me you don't need more than 60 uh, because you got plus 20 from clan and 80 is pretty enough but you can take even 80 plus 20 from clan and you can have uh, 100 armor of course and this one is if you gonna rent and you have GP it will help you to live a little longer and have one head protection but from weapons that have damage under 60 so means if you're weapon have I'd say 70 damage that head protection is really useless anyway let's move to destroyer we already already learned what means recall so you know this skill and here you will be uh, taking less damage from grenades so yeah this is really helpful also I think that this will protect you from mortar strike and this skill will show you on screen something orange and that means a grenade indicator and it's really help you uh, useful not only for protecting yourself from enemy grenades but even from your grenades because sometimes you will drop it by mistake under your legs or it will stack to some objects and return to you so yes this is really nice if you wanna avoid being killed by grenades anyway if you unlock this you will get plus one grenade if you unlock this uh, you will increase explosion damage from grenades for 1.5 times means uh, your grenade will be 1.5 times stronger this one is to throw your grenade uh, I don't know how to tell you to throw it uh, far away so with this skill you will be able to throw it on let's say evac from helicopter up on the roof so if you really need this skill well feel free to use it but I'm not using it and this one is a radius of grenade means that grenade will deal uh, same damage but on bigger area or bigger space and you you can get this from packages I'm not really sure where I may find this one for you guys so yeah here you buy it for 520 GP and it's permanent even if you risk kill you will still keep this one and of course you get uh, one grenade for 15 days so yes it's pretty nice and I will recommend you to buy the skill and way here uh, this is probably for uh, people uh, I mean I'm not really sure but I think it's for those who are using CR weapons that they will um, break in uh, bigger time so means you will have more time to fire with your CR guns and they will not be broken so it's real nice anyway reduce recoil of main weapon sitting position by 40% means when you crouch that your recoil will be 40% less in compare when you stand uh, yeah this is plus 8 mobility if a weapons mobile if weapon mobility is under 45 means you will have plus 8 but only for weapons that are with mobility under 45 pretty nice and this one will have help you to have a faster reload speed on those low mobility weapons so it's real nice anyway here you have 
8, low speed to main weapons if mobility is under 45 so yes this is really nice in combination with this and I think it's a bug or not but yeah it's really helping a lot anyway here it's simple you get plus 2 max to primary weapon means at the same time you will increase ammo capacity for main weapons and of course you get pretty bullets or let's say shells to your shotguns a recoil we said what is that and fire stabilization is something that many of you guys say it's a uh, hit mark so it's not a hit mark it will reduce a uh, burst so means you will be able to spray and all your bullets after few seconds will go forward so if you want to take it just take it because it's nice but it's not working as good as it was working before the update so this one means you will get uh, additional experience for grenades and discount for everything so for your team for your enemy so whoever kills someone with grenade during the match you will get points for that and here spaz machine gun if you wanna have that sexy and low mobility PKP it's really great gun and you can see statistics so if you wanna be really a destroyer class so uh, you can go on and take it of course so just let me check yeah it's PKP patchnet so yeah it's really nice even on hardcore and it's even better or normal mode but reload and mobility is really bad so I will rate it like 1 out of 10 so pay attention if you really want to use it anyway many players asking me what is this well this means that you your bullets won't be uh, able to see on the map I mean probably few times you could notice that when someone is shooting at you you can see a bullet trace going on you so this one will help you to remove it and reduce it so not to be able uh, not not to be seen on map from where and which position are you shooting on your enemy so it's really nice anyway those two skills means you will increase your moving speed a uh, movement speed when you aim down the side and it's pretty nice for those guys who like to aim a lot and move with uh, aiming down the side because at the same time of course you reduce your recoil and improve your accuracy uh, plus 10 health points is probably something that you know and this is something that is really nice and that would uh, uh, that I will recommend to people who like to be destroyer well it will decrease crosshair speed while hit by 50% means when someone shoots you your crosshair will not spread a lot it will only spread for 50% and like that you will be more accurate and able to hit your enemies back and anyway, here you get 20 armor points which is really nice and in combination with other skills from assault you are able to have 120 armor points if you take this one and this is probably something that is real nice when you hit your enemies you will uh, make their crosshair to spread by 50% and like that you increase chance not to be hit from them because imagine when you start to spray on them and you hit them several times well probably they chance to hit you back is really low so let's go to sniper even if I don't like snipers but I really like few skills here that will help you guys to understand it better so accuracy is what I told you increase accuracy it's something obvious that you know plus five points to accuracy is obvious that you know but here you been asking me how do I gain accuracy and how do I Mm, zoom in when I'm aiming uh, down the side so yes this is the something you see you need to hold right mouse button if you have this skill unlocked and it will help you to zoom down a little bit and yes it's pretty useful and it's working for all primary weapons so not only for pistol but it's working on assault SMG it's working even for heavy machine guns and so on here you gain 100% for the accuracy uh, for the first shot and this is the something when you see me down when I'm walking and you ask me why is my crosshair so small so it's because of this skill but it's work 
it's working only for the first shot means after you fire one bullet your crosshair will spread and it won't be small anymore so yes go on and take this kill it's real nice anyway this is a special sniper it's white club and if you wanna unlock it make sure to buy all skills down there till you go to that weapon and that is it so it's pretty nice and probably one of the best snipers in this game anyway here uh, increase accuracy but of course when you sit here you get five health points this one will help you to aim down the side faster so yeah it's pretty useful and this is probably something that you that you need it will increase your accuracy of the main weapons anyway here is display the sector of bullet hits on the screen so this means when someone shoot you from which side it will show you like red from left right down or up so you will be able to notice from where where those uh, players are hitting you and to turn uh, in that direction and shoot them back, back of course so this one is the same just it will show you a weapon so instant know from which weapon are you uh, you are shot uh, the, this is pretty useful if you're gonna be a sniper because when someone is aiming at you from optics uh, you will see like blinking on the screen and it's really really helpful because y you are able to deal with those campers anyway this skill will display enemy uh, operators on the screen and on the map or you can say it radar because so many players asked me when i did a pro kill with uh, y club what are those red dots on your screen so if you wanna go you can go to my video and check how this looks but it's really nice and helpful you can make also a good combination for assault and to have this skill and many players will call you a wall hacker because it's really working like wall hack when the people are shooting you are able to see from where they are shooting and behind which object so yeah it's really nice right anyway armor detection is really nice and it will help you to detect enemies on map and where they are hiding so if you hit them in the body the armor will pop up above their head and it will look exactly like this one and what i even like with this it will help you to see where the enemies are going or where they are hiding but of course have in mind you need to shoot them anyway uh you will increase your chance to hear better shoots but i really don't use this skill and you really don't need it because you are using headphones i guess and like that you can notice from where people are shooting anyway this is the same but you will be able when you shoot enemy you will hear that you shoot them so you hear like a sound so you perfectly know that you really shot them but i think it's really not helpful skill so don't take it anyway this is definitely something that you don't need in this game because <laughs> this will help you to hear silent shot and to see them on the radar but uh, after a while you will get used to this game and probably you will be able to recognize from which side they are shooting or where are the enemies but of course use your headphones and it will help you dramatically to improve in this game anyway let's move to gunsmith as you can see I don't he have here anything because I'm really not fan of gunsmith and I don't need it but I'm using my experience kill tree at the moment I don't know why but yeah I'm using it because I like to get more experience anyway it's simple with this skill you get eight mortar shells in strike if you unlock more you get uh, 14 and down there you have 25 mortars it's really hell when you drop uh, on your enemies so most of the time you will make if of course you drop it good five or more kills anyway this is simple you will be able to detect enemies in bigger area on your radar this will increase the dur duration of uh, sonar for double so let's say if it lasts for 15 seconds with this it will last for 30 seconds and of course this is against sonar radius means you will be able to notice where are the enemies on the map 
So this is only if you are playing TDS, so increase speed of bacon placement by 1.5 times, diffuse by 1.5 times, and this is something that show you on the screen where the bacon is placed and so on. So yes, those guys who are playing TDS probably using those skills, but those guys who don't know well definitely don't take those free skills. In a way, this is again mobility, and those things are all for weapon re repair for CR guns. Means you will pay less CR to repair your weapons. In a way, this skill is not working, so don't try it. And of course, you don't have this skill because it's not in the game and of course I think it's not even working but I didn't try so I don't recommend you to go in this game and try it because you see it costs zero zero so I don't know if you wanna unbreak all weapons you may go on and try this and unbreak for 40% less so it's really useful if it's working I'm not sure so if you wanna try it on your own risk then go on good luck Anyway, plus 3 points to accuracy of collimators, you know what are the collimators, minus 2 points to recall of any mode, and this is plus 2 points to mobility of silencer, means only weapons with silencer will have plus 2 to mobility, and minus 75 to damage loss caused by silencer, so this means like if you don't have this skill and you have like 50 damage, if you take silencer let's say you will lose maybe 15 uh, damage because of silencer but if you wear this skill means you will lose like let's say 7 damage so it's pretty useful anyway here as a special SMG but this is a pistol anyway you can find it here so yeah it's Uzi U Z I and weapon tag for it was one pro kill if I remember good and if it's still one pro kill so let's move here additional zoom when aiming through kilometer this will be automatically so only you need to press right click and you will maybe notice a small difference between this and without this I mean with this and without this so it's pretty useful if if you are playing uh, bigger maps in combination with 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 this one so yes you will have pretty nice zoom and anyway, if you go down there this is only for optics so means it will work even for assault guns and any other guns that is able to be customized and where you can add uh, optics of course and three points to accuracy of silencer means only for weapons with silencer and of course probably that many of you are asking what is this skills and why and is it useful well plus 20 points to penetration is really helpful guys but see here how much it cost for only 50 uh, 15 days so if you have GP and you wanna waste it well good luck then go on and take this skill but I really don't recommend you this one because in my general opinion you will only become a worse player after you stop using this so if you wanna try it you may of course always go in game and try it because your account is only yours and you can do whatever you like anyway that was it for this skill video I hope this time you've really seen everything about skills and now you can decide how and what skills should you take in building your perfect skill tree also make sure that you can check uh, my skill tree guide so you are able to decide and what class you should be and all that general things anyway as always if you have any questions or you need any kind of help help about building a perfect skill tree you may contact me on facebook on marshall one gaming and i will do my best to make a really nice skill tree for you guys anyway don't forget to check instant gaming link in the description of this video where you can buy original games on high discount getting games via my link will really help supporting my channel take care guys and see you again really soon bye bye